Windows Server 2016 made some changes, so the ability to reset a password is now different than it used to be. So let's take a look and see how we do that, both a virtual machine and a physical machine, and also an administrator password and an Active Directory administrator password. So we're in a virtual machine, and what we want to do is we want to make sure that we have, under media, our bootable ISO file ready to go. If you're on a physical machine, then just make sure your DVD for Windows Server 2016 is in the tray. Now we're going to go to File and Settings, and from here we're going to go to the firmware, and we want to make sure DVD is the top. So let's go ahead and click Move to the top, click Apply, click OK, and now we can boot from that. And again, if you're using a physical machine, uh, as long as you have that in your BIOS or UEFI to boot from the DVD first, or you press F12 during the boot up uh, sequence, then you can select the DVD at that point. So now we are ready to boot this up, whether you're using physical or virtual, and we're going to boot off of our startup uh, ISO or DVD. So let's go ahead and press any key to continue, and we want to boot from the setup, and here it goes. Now that we're in setup, let's go ahead and click on next, and we'll click repair your computer. And we'll get this nice menu comes up. Click on the troubleshoot option, and then we're gonna click on command prompt. So we're gonna need to type a few commands here to get this to work. The first one is going to be, well, we need to make sure that we're first off in the right drive. So right now you see it starts off at the X drive, which is not the one we want. So the drive we need needs to have the Windows directory on it. So we could type D colon, hit enter. It's either gonna be on the C or D drive in most cases. And we'll type a DIR. And is there a Windows directory? No, there's not, so that's not the right drive. Let's go ahead and type AC colon, hit enter. Type DIR, and there it is. There's our Windows directory. So that is likely going to be our boot directory, so we can go ahead and clear the screen, type CLS, and we're ready to type a couple of commands. Now we're going to type bcd edit slash set, and then we'll use these brackets, type boot mgr, close it up, display boot menu, and then we're going to type yes, hit enter. And we'll hit the up arrow key for the second command and just back out of that, of the display boot menu, and type in timeout and how many seconds you want that menu to show up. Now, I recommend 15 seconds, but you can do 10 or 20, whatever makes you feel comfortable, and you'll see that option here in, in a minute. Hit enter, and it was successful, so very good. Now we're going to do a change directory, or CD, to Windows, and we'll type CD System32. And then what we're going to do is we're going to rename our util man, which is the ease of access button you get when you boot up. So we're going to type ren utilman.exe to utilman.123 or .old or whatever it is that you want other than exe. Now we're going to copy, type the word copy, our command prompt to utilman.exe. So we're just replacing our utilman file with the command prompt. And you'll see why after we boot up the computer. We hit enter. Now let's just do a quick dir of cmd.exe just to make sure that these files match. We see 232,000 bytes. Now if we type uh, dir utilman.exe, it should match that, and it does. So the file copy worked. Next we're going to type exit. And now what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the PC, and we're going to boot back up. And when we boot up, uh, again, this is uh, for a virtual machine. I'll tell you what to do for a physical machine in a second. We'll go into File Settings, and when it boots up, we want it to go from our hard drive. So we're going to change to hard drive and click Move Up. Click Apply. Now, if you don't do this, you won't get the F8 option that we want in most cases. You might get lucky and it might show up, but in most cases it doesn't. All right, so if you have a physical computer, then go into your UEFI or go into your F12 when you boot up and choose the hard drive. Let's go ahead and click Start. And now we should see a new menu that we haven't seen before, and there it is. Fantastic. So we want to go ahead and press F8, and you see we had 15 seconds to do it because that's what we set it to do. 
now we have this uh, repair your computer, safe mode, all these things that we're used to seeing in previous versions of Windows. We're going to go down, and this is the reason why the uh, rename util man uh, exercise no longer works without doing the BCD edit command, is because Microsoft, with a recent update uh, in the beginning of um, December 2018, said we're going to have the anti-malware go ahead and start as Windows is booting up rather than afterwards. And that keeps that util man from working the way we want it to. So by doing these other commands, the BCD edit commands, we fixed that problem. Now let's go ahead and choose disable early launch anti-malware driver. And when it finishes booting up, then we should be able to get our command prompt to reset our password. We're at the login screen. So now what we want to do is click on the ease of access button, which we've replaced with our command prompt. We click on it, we get a command prompt. Now, if you didn't do the BCD edit commands, nothing, this won't work. You won't see a command prompt. So you need to make sure and go back and do those if you don't see this command prompt at this time. All right, let's go ahead and type a command, net user administrator. Now, this is if it's a member server. I'll tell you what to do for a domain in just a second. And we'll go ahead and type in our password. Hit enter. We've just reset our administrator password. So we could just exit out and we could go ahead and log in. Now this is a domain controller and you're trying to reset the password for Active Directory. Then you do the same command, but then you do a forward slash domain and then hit enter. And then that will reset Active Directory's domain administrator password. Then you can log in and take back over your Active Directory. However, this isn't a member, this is just a member server, so we'll go ahead and exit out. And now we'll type in the password that we just set. And look at that, we're logging in. So we've now successfully reset our administrator password on a 2016 Windows Server. Now this also works in 2019, in case you're using Windows Server 2019, for both a member server as well as Active Directory. It also works with 2012 and 2008. However, in 2012 and 2008, you will likely not have to do the BCD edit commands. Everything else is still accurate, but you probably don't have to do the BC edit commands because Microsoft uh, may not have patched your servers with that Windows Defender update that we talked about earlier. So that is how we reset an administrator and an Active Directory administrator password in Windows Server 2016.